Good morning, church. Pastor Mike here with The Gathering. Um, got a word today for you after reading through Song of Solomon 7. And you know what I was really thinking about after reading this is, it, you know, it's reminding me of how much just just joy and pleasure there is when you're, you know, newly in love and excited and, and there's just that passion with it. And that made me reflect on one of my favorite passages in the Old Testament, especially, which comes out of Ecclesiastes, which most scholars attribute to Solomon also. So this is the same guy, you know, they say he wrote Song of Solomon early on when he was a young man, passionately in love. And then Ecclesiastes, they say he wrote towards the end of his life, uh, being an old man and having gone through the life. And he talks about, remember your joy because there's nothing better for man than to eat, drink, and be merry, and that that joy you will carry with you through all the toils of life. And I have to imagine he's part of the joy that he's remembering on is just the joy of being madly in love with this woman that he's writing about in Song of Solomon. And so that's the encouragement I, I have for you today is take time to be present during joyful times, right? We can get so caught up in our stresses and worries that we don't even enjoy the great things that God gives us in the moment, right? We can we can just completely strip those of joy by being worried about the future that hasn't even come yet. Um, but be present for that joy and then hold on to it through the toils of your life, right? Because we know we're going to have struggles. We know we're going to have hard times, but we also have good times. We also have joy and part of the blessing of that joy is the memory of it during the rest of our lives, right? The more we hold on to it, the more we reflect on it, the more it sticks with us. So I just want to encourage you guys, live in that moment of joy. And then when you're in the moments of toil, remember that joy. It'll help you get through it. It's one of God's gifts. So God bless you all. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.